Jurors have their own preconceptions and aren't expected to have advanced scientific or technical knowledge. Nonetheless, they're tasked with finding the truth. As we'll see in State v. Kenny, experts can help jurors understand human behavior that deviates from expectations. Defendant Stephen Kenny spent the evening drinking, smoking, and doing drugs with three friends. He appeared intoxicated when the group drove to Lucas Sweester's home to buy more cocaine around 1 a.m. When they arrived, Sweester was asleep with his girlfriend, who woke up. After talking with Kenny, the girlfriend said she could help him buy drugs. According to Kenny, she giggled as he carried her out the door into his car. According to the girlfriend, she repeatedly told Kenny she didn't want to go with him, resisted while he carried her outside, and asked to leave the car. Instead of looking for cocaine, the group returned to the house to continue drinking and smoking. The girlfriend said she joined them so she wouldn't appear scared. Kenny and the girlfriend ended up leaving and having sex at his home. The girlfriend fell asleep and was driven home in the morning. Kenny claimed the sex was consensual. The girlfriend claimed it was against her will. Kenny was charged with kidnapping, sexual assault, and lewd behavior by a Vermont trial court. At trial, the prosecution called expert witness Dr. Jan Tyler, who testified about rape trauma syndrome. She explained the ways that severe trauma can impact the behavior of rape victims generally and their false report rate. Kenny was convicted of all charges and subsequently filed an appeal with the Vermont Supreme Court.